Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? x raised to power 3 minus y raised to power 3 equals to 91. To find the value of x and y, from this identity, we can write that as x minus y multiplied by x squared plus xy then plus y squared which is equal to 91 then it means that we multiply two numbers and the product gives us 91 so here clearly x minus y will be less than x squared plus xy plus y squared then when we separate 91 we can separate 91 as 1 multiplied by 91 or that can be minus 1 times minus 91 as minus times minus is to be plus or we can say that is 7 times 13 or we can say that is minus 7 times minus 13 now which one will work from here from here we have the second bracket here x square will be a positive number y square will also be a positive number so definitely whatever we have to that to those two numbers we make this bracket to be positive so this bracket here will be positive number then for us to have positive on this side it implies that we must multiply also by a positive number so it implies that the first bracket here too must be a positive number for us to have positive so it means this will work here why this will not you know work there so this also will work why this will not work now the first case we have x minus y to be equals to 1 then we have x squared plus xy plus y squared to be equal to 91. That is the first you know, category. Then the second case here, it means we have x minus y will be equal to 7. Then we have x squared plus xy plus y square to be equals to 13 now when we work with this from this side now we can take minus y to this side and make x the subject so we have x now will be equals to 1 plus y then the 1 plus y here let's substitute for x in the second equation here then this will now become into bracket 1 plus y all square then plus into bracket 1 plus y then times y then plus y square which is now equals to 91 and when we expand from here this is same thing as the expansion here will be 1 plus 2y plus y square then y open this bracket we have plus y then plus y square then we also have plus y square there which is equals to 91 then when we had the like terms we have y square y square y square that's 3y square then we have 2y plus y that's plus 3y then we have plus 1 and let's take 91 here become minus 91 equals to 0 so here from here this will give us 3y square plus 3y then minus 99 equals to 0 so from here we can divide through by 3 and this will be we mean y square plus y minus 30 equals to 0 from here we can factorize this quadratic equation and that will be plus 
6y minus 5y, so that will be y squared plus 6y minus 5y, then minus 30 equals to 0. So we group these two to what is common here? We have y into bracket y plus 6, then minus 5 into bracket y plus 6, then equals to 0. Then from here we have y plus 6 common then into bracket y minus 5, which is equal to 0. So the two cases here will be y plus 6 equals to 0, or we have y minus 5 equals to 0. So here y is equals to minus 6, and here y is equals to 5. So now we can get the corresponding values of x from this relation here, that is we have x equals to 1 plus y. So from here, when we use that to get the value of x on this side, so we have x to be equals to 1 plus y. So on this side, that will be x will now be equals to 1 plus minus 6, that's minus 6. So x now will be equals to minus 5. So, and on this side we have x now be equals to 1, then plus y, that's plus 5. That means x here will be equals to 6. Now, we have x comma y for this side. Let's label this as x1 comma y1. We now be equals to, for here we have minus 5 comma minus 6 then on this side we make that one to be x2 y2 and this one will now be so for x2 comma y2 so that will be equals to 6 comma 5 so let's label it like that so we have two set of solutions here for this particular side then for the second case where we have x minus y equals to 7 then we have x squared plus xy plus y squared equals to 13 now from here also make x the subject then we take minus y here we have x now equals to 7 plus y and let's substitute this value of x now in this equation. Then we now have 7 plus y, all square now, 10 plus 7 plus y, that's x, times y, then plus y square, then equals to 13. So when we solve this and we expand this bracket, so this will become 7 squared as 49. Then plus 2 times 7 times y, that's 14y. Then plus y square, that's the expansion here. Then we have plus y open here, we have 7y. Then plus y square. Then also we have plus y square here. Then equals to 13. Then what we have here now, we have y square, y square, y square, that's 3y square. Then we have 14y plus 7y, that's plus 21y. Then we have plus 49 here. Then you bring 13 here, become minus 13, then equals to 0. Then here we have 3y squared now, plus 21y. Then 49 minus 13 there, that give us. 6 so we have plus 36 then equals to 0 then we can divide through this equation by 3 then what we left here now will be y square then plus 7y plus 12 then equals to 0 we can also factorize this quadratic equation then we have y square plus 
y plus 3y. Sum here will give us 7y. Then the product will give us 12y squared. Then plus 12 equals to 0. So when we factor what is common between these two, that's y. Then y plus 4 left. Then plus 3 is common here. Also y plus 4 left. Then equals to 0. Then from here, we have y plus 4 common. That's y plus 4. Then times y plus 3 equals to 0. So the two cases here, we have y plus 4 equals to 0. Or we have y plus 3 equals to 0. So here, y equals to minus 4. And this side, y equals to minus 3. And the same way, we get the corresponding values of x from this relation, which is x equals to 7 plus y. So from here, x is equals to 7 plus y. That means x here, if this is y3 now, so x3 will now be 7 plus y3, that's 7 minus 4 now. Then x3 now will now be equals to 3 from here. So x3 is equals to 3. Then on this other side also, if this is y4, that means x4 now will then be equals to 7 plus y. That's x, that's 7 minus 3. That means x4 here then be equals to 4. So we have another two sets of solutions here. And then when we write that out, so we can write it out from here and say x3 comma y3. The third set of solution from here we have that's 3 comma minus 4. Then the last set, which is the fourth set of solution, let's say this is x4 comma y4 now. When we write that out, so this will be 4 comma minus 3. So these are the solutions to this given uh, problem. We have four sets of solutions here. And then we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Put your comments in the comment section and give a thumbs up. Share this video. And then uh, see you next class. And bye for now.